Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a tag video created by my friend Georgia Harris here on YouTube. I'm so excited, I love doing tag videos. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I have the questions pulled up here on my phone. First question, how long have you been collecting makeup? I have been collecting makeup probably since about 2008. So I think I've shared this story a few times in previous videos where I pretty much never wore makeup. It's not really something I did at all when I was back home growing up in Sri Lanka. I was never interested in it. It was never a thing. It's more of a thing now because I've seen so many um, Instagram artists and makeup artists coming out of Sri Lanka I know and have seen so many talented people um, but it definitely didn't feel like it was a huge thing growing up for me and I, I never really ever wore makeup and once I moved here and noticed that so many uh, people that I went to college with wore makeup it was really something that I wanted to do as well and so I remember like going to Walmart and picking up like my first like orange tube of CoverGirl mascara and like a quad from CoverGirl and like everything was CoverGirl and then I bought some Urban Decay so I've been collecting makeup since around 2008-2009 the second question, what kind of collection do you have? Is it minimal, utilitarian, aesthetic, historical, etc.? Um, I would like to say that my makeup collection is ex excessive. Um, I basically feel like I have way more makeup than I know what to do with. I have piles of palettes that still need to be featured on my channel. And I feel like the makeup fatigue is definitely starting to set in currently um i yeah i don't know it's just been really weird i keep thinking about like all these other things i have that i need to save up for this year and so i'm trying to report reprioritize my life a little bit but even still i think that i have enough palettes to keep content going for a long time and yeah it's just been a lot this month especially in march there were so many new makeup releases and it's it's definitely like who you know and so yeah i would definitely say um i would i have a very excessive makeup collection especially when it comes to eyeshadow palettes i have so many eyeshadow palettes number three are you a completionist um a little bit sometimes i felt like I really wanted to buy the Zodiac palette, the new one that came out, of, um, was it Aries, um, from BH Cosmetics. I wasn't even planning on buying those, and then I bought two on sale, then Pisces came out, so I bought that, and now I'm like, okay, well, Aquarius is pretty too, and then I was buying the It's My Rare Rare palette, so I just threw it in with an order. So sometimes I'm definitely a completionist. Not always though, like if a palette doesn't really speak to me, I don't feel the need to buy it. Um, I didn't want to just hold on to the subculture palette just so I could have a complete ABH collection. I didn't want to just hold on to the, what was the other one? Um, it was in the back, it was in the black velvet packaging. Totally blanking on the name. So I feel like sometimes there is a little bit of a completionist in me, but sometimes I'm just like, no, I'm not just gonna keep buying makeup so I can have the complete set. Number four, how do you store or organize your collection? I have Ikea drawers. Um, so behind me, I have a Ikea desk with um, two shorter Alex drawers, and then I have two tall nine drawer sets. Eventually, I will film a makeup collection video, but for now, I just like to keep everything in my Alex drawers, and then I want to get some Ikea bookshelves, so the next time I get to an Ikea, the Ikea store the closest to me is four hours away, it's in Minneapolis, so the next time we get to Minneapolis, I want to pick up um, like these famous bookshelves by Ikea, I can't remember what they're called, um, but I think I'm going to put two on this wall over here, um, and then hopefully get this space organized. I have so much stuff. It's so overwhelming. Sometimes I show my makeup room on Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, it just looks like clutter. But really there's like a lot of, you know, stuff I like in those shelves. So anyway, number five, what is your favorite thing about your collection? My favorite thing about my collection is um, the feeling like I can share my makeup so 
Um, sometimes my friends will ask me to do their makeup for them and even though I don't really love doing makeup on other people, I feel so honored when my friends ask me to do their makeup. It obviously means that they trust me to make them look good and feel good, which I really appreciate and so I really like that I can go into my collection and, you know, work on a different skin tone and I have so much nice good makeup that I feel like my friends would never buy for themselves so it's really nice to be able to share it with them so that's my favorite thing about my collection what number six what is your least favorite thing about slash something to improve your collection I think right now my least favorite thing about my collection is that I have so many palettes that I am yet to use that really needs to change and I started a pile of palettes that I haven't used and I even filmed a video of palettes that are untouched in my collection but I still feel really guilty because there's still so many more that I need to get through, that I need to review, that I need to, you know, formulate my thoughts on and I still keep buying more so I think that's like a huge thing I wish I could kind of change and uh, work towards. That's like a big goal of mine. Number seven, what is the biggest category of your collection? I would say eyeshadow palettes. I am an eyeshadow palette junkie. I think most people say that is their biggest collection is eyeshadow. I would say probably highlighters would be next and then uh, probably lipsticks actually. I've, weirdly, my lipstick collection is growing. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, most of it's concentrated into two Alex drawers, so it's not too embarrassing, but I still feel like lipstick is such a waste of money because I never get through them, and so I feel like a lot of the colors are very similar too, so one of my goals is to just not really continue to buy lipstick. <laughs> Number eight, what is the smallest category of your collection? I would probably say maybe eyeliners and... Actually, probably setting powders. I decluttered most of them very recently, so I only have about four or five setting powders now, which I am very happy with. Number nine, do you have a holy grail in your collection? I think my ultimate holy grail currently is the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. They're right there. You can see them in the background of this video. I love those palettes so much. I don't use them enough, of course. Um, but I feel like if I lost all my makeup, those would be one of the first things I'd want to replace because they are so beautiful. If I, yeah, if I stopped collecting makeup, those are the palettes I would keep forever and ever and ever because I just think they're so fun. Um, number 10, do you ever wish your collection was bigger, smaller, or is it complete? I feel like my collection is my collection and, you know, maybe someday... I will feel like I've hit my limit, um, but I feel like I also do a decent job of cycling through so I don't just keep things for the sake of keeping them. I definitely have a few, you know, sentimental pieces that I've had forever, but if I see a palette is not getting any use in my collection, I will most definitely put it on my Poshmark or if it's something I bought and I'm not enjoying it, I have no problem returning it because you know what, It's I don't want to keep it and just have it sit in my collection. So that is my opinion. I feel like I'm so happy the way it is. If it were to grow, I'd be okay with it. And if it were to shrink, I'd be okay with it too. It's, you know, it's all a cycle, so it's fine. Um, number 11, how often do you declutter makeup in your collection? Um, I usually like to declutter whenever I have spare time. So last holiday, when I had a week off work, I was able to declutter my collection, kind of went through and sorted out stuff that I just wasn't getting any use out of. I don't like to say like I have a schedule necessarily for decluttering, but if something is not getting any use or I feel like, oh, I don't want that in my collection anymore, I'll definitely declutter it, give it away, put it on Poshmark or, you know, somehow try to pass it on to somebody else. Number 12, do you ever get envious seeing other people's makeup collections? Um, I think I probably would have uh, when I had less makeup, but right now I feel like I definitely don't like have anything, like there's nothing left to be desired for me. I wish I had, you know, unlimited funds to spend and buy every, every makeup item that ever was created or I wish I was on like a PR list sometimes so that I 
didn't have to spend my own money on things, but you know, can't complain. So there's really not any that I'm envious of. I think I just love some people's organization and they have really beautiful beauty room setups, which I love. Like I am so lucky to have this beauty space that I really want it to be pretty and nice, but I don't know. I feel like it, it's de there's definitely room for improvement on that one. Okay, number 13. Who on YouTube has the best makeup collection videos? Oh my gosh. Um, I love watching makeup collection videos. I think one of the first ones I remember watching back in the day was Tara Babies. I don't know if you guys all watch her, but she has most of her makeup collections are in these giant, um, I believe they're toolboxes. Um, I will try and remember if I can to link her down below. She has the most insane amount of makeup. Like she buys everything. She has a haul that goes up every Saturday night usually. And so she has a lot of makeup to reference and I don't think she's done a new video in a long time on her collection, but holy moly, like she's got these three giant toolboxes in a, in a room and that's where she keeps all her makeup. And sometimes she'll throw up a picture of like a certain section of her makeup collection. So I feel like she's probably got the best makeup collection video. Number 14, what's some advice you'd give a future makeup collector? Um, a future makeup collector. So I would say my best advice is to not be me and definitely ask yourself like a hundred times if you need to. Like, do I really need this item? Is it actually going to help? I've spent so much money on stuff that I just like bought because like my first instinct was to like buy it because I thought it was beautiful. And then when I got it, I was like, oh, this was kind of a bad buy for me. Like, I don't think I'm actually going to use this. So um, you know, definitely ask yourself a few times before you buy something because um, it's a really hard habit to break. I'm still, you know, working on that. So definitely don't go to the extremes. Just buy what, you know, really appeals to you, really speaks to you, um, and try really hard not to have like a hundred dupes of the same thing and really become a person that can function with less because you can't take this all with you when you die, <laughs> so... Definitely, as a collector, I would say, you know, be smart with your money and um, try and make the best out of your money. Don't put it all into makeup, which still trying to learn that lesson. So <laughs> anyway, that was the very last question. I hope you guys, you know, found that interesting and entertaining. Thank you, Georgia, so much for coming up with this wonderful tag video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tag anyone that's watching this that hasn't made it already, which surprises me because I'm pretty sure I've seen like everyone make this video. So thank you guys and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye!